Hybrid family, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be going over the best budget cards to go ahead that you need to add to your Madden Ultimate team. Now, at the time of me recording this, this is the day before we do get the Season of Boom promo. But I do know that also this is also when a lot of other people who didn't pre-order the game is also available to play it. And so they may need a little bit of help to know what cards they can use to go ahead and knock out some of the solo challenges and help build their team up. So first, hey, we got to start off with the person that's going to be controlling the offense, and that's going to be the quarterback. Now, starting off with the quarterback, I was not a believer. I also still don't think that I either had him or Jalen Hurts as our number one option for the cheapest. But right here, Aaron Rodgers, I want to say he does continue to have that Slinger 1 release, which is a pretty good release. Now, the only issue that you probably would have with this car, one is the speed. He is a statue quarterback. He is not going to be meant for rolling out whatsoever. And also, at this point of the year, 80 throw power, that's good enough to go ahead and try to get that ball over there. You more than likely won't be just hitting one play touchdowns for 40 yards down the field with this card. But overall, this is definitely a solid card to go ahead and start your ultimate team with. And then also pretty viable as far as the accuracies to get you through some of those solo challenges. Now, it pains me to say this, but this card right here, this Dak Prescott, I want to say he's probably going for around 44,000 coins, which is I'm trying to keep the budget cards at least below 60,000 coins. If it's 100K or like 80K, anything within that range, I don't consider that budget no more. Or at this point in the year, I do not consider that budget starting off. But we do have plus five speed over Aaron Rodgers, which is great to see. And then for the accuracies, everything is above 80 and above. And for throw power is an 81. Now, Dak Prescott, I'll let you know right now, this was my quarterback. I pulled him in a pack opening video. Um, if you have not seen that, go watch those uh, my pre-order video. I did pull this Dak Prescott. Now, overall, I did not have any complaints with him. He was a very viable option starting off. Um, but now I do use this Matthew Stafford card that I did pull in the video that I did post yesterday. Make sure y'all go drop a like on that video as well. That's going to determine how big the pack opening you're going to be seeing after this video was uploaded. So overall, definitely a good card. We all know that speed really runs the game right now. And just the same as every year, speed is always going to be the top priority in Madden. Now, obviously 65 is lower than 70, but 70 is still not the best, but it's enough to get the job done. Now we going real budget for this one. Like I said, speed kills in this game. And Mr. Jalen Wright coming in with an 82 speed, 83 Excel, and he's currently going for a thousand coins on the auction block. I even have this card as my starter on my team. As you can see that it says he's in the lineup. I have this car starting. Granted, I do have a slight Dolphins theme team going on. So he has 82 speed, 84 acceleration, which helps him get to that 82 speed a lot quicker. But this card is faster than a lot of the top running backs in the game that we currently have right now. And he's going for a thousand coins. But this is not the best budget option running back that we do have. Check this one out. I've never even heard of this guy, Isaac Gorindo. Hopefully I said his name right, but 83 speed with 84 Excel. Granted, 65 carrying, that's terrible. 71 change of direction. He don't have a lot of moves in his arsenal, but 83 speed. The fastest running back that we have in the game is 85 speed. So two speeds slower, more than likely the same Excel. I forget what that Raheem Mostert and Saquon Barkley Excel is, but overall, He's, this card is going to be cheaper, or you can just go with that free Saquon Barkley. But if you don't have that college football 25 to do those solo challenges, I highly suggest that you get this Isaac Garendo paired with that Jalen Wright so that you can just have a completely fast backfield. Now, next, we have the wide receivers, and we're going with Mr. Jamison Williams. And you can kind of see the whole trend of this video with these budget cards is what is the cheapest card that you can really get the most speed out there so you just don't be running in the mud. Jamison Williams, 6'2", 84 speed, 
72 short route running, 75 medium, 77 deep route running. You're not going against a lot of cornerbacks in this game currently that just have lockdown coverage unless we already have the Jalen Ramsey, the Razul Douglas, but those cars are extremely expensive. And if you're the average Madden player, you're more than likely not going to be going up against that every single game, especially at this point in the year. So obviously, Jamison Williams, very great card. I have seen people even who spent money on this game even use this card. Next, we have Brian Thomas Jr. Jamison Williams is six foot two. Brian Thomas Jr. is six foot three. Another 84 speed receiver with 73 short route running, 72 medium, and a 73 deep route running. On par with the speed, both of these cards, some of the top fastest wide receivers in the game. Like, pretty comparable as far as speed to the fully maxed out Heinz Ward, the Justin Jeffersons, the Tyreek Hills. These are just budget options that you can both get, that you can get both of these cards for a total of 40K. For the both of them so honestly it's really a win-win situation now the next card that you did see in a previous video with the best free cards it has to be this jerome baker you get him by just going through the solo challenges of training camp you get this card for free 83 speed 81 excel six foot two 225 pounds linebackers do animate this year so you don't have to worry about a lurker or a lurk artist to attach to this man so overall he's just a good speedy big body out there for you next we have davine diablo 84 speed 83 excel currently going for 5,000 coins same as the jerome baker situation except he comes with an 80 hit power and he's one inch taller than that jerome baker now overall these both are viable user options and i do know that that uh, nickel double mug is a popular defense to run now and a lot of the times you have those two inside middle linebackers blitzing at the same time in the a gap so by the chance that they can get free with that 84 speed and also that 83 speed it may be a wrap you may be getting nano blitz all game long next we do have nick cross nick cross over here six foot even 83 speed 84 excel if you're not the biggest fan of using linebackers you can definitely have this card as a user card me personally he's still on my team and he's a top safety or i just have him out there in manned up situations i don't really just have the best team in the game right now as you can see at the top i am only an 80 overall but this speed on this nick cross card i didn't even know that he was that fast and how much does it even say he's going for He's going for 2,000 coins, and you're getting 83 speed and 84 Excel. Th these are some great budget cards, man. We, we, don't, need, we don't need no 80,000, 76,000 coin cards for them to be some budget beasts. Somehow, another cowboy made it on this list. 80 overall, so our first elite that I do believe that we go over outside of the quarterback position Malik Cooker, 6'2", 82 speed, 81 Excel. But the reason why he made this list is because he hit that 81, over, 81 zone coverage. Now, a lot of other cars, we do have an 83 speed, different 82 speeds. But what I prioritize with this game right now is hitting at least one, a minimum of one threshold when it comes to my safeties. And for Malik Cooker, I prioritize zone coverage a lot in my schemes. So that's really the reason why he uh, made this list. He's currently going for about 30K on the auction block. But hey, he may be cheaper now by the time that you're seeing this video. Next, we do have Eric Stokes. 83 speed, 82 Excel, 72 man, 70 zone coverage. Not the best coverage stats, I will say that. But for a slot cornerback or even a secondary cornerback number two, you can't really go wrong with that. He is matched up there alongside with a lot of the top tier speed receiver guys. Not, not step for step, but it's not like you're just going to see him just get burned over top repeatedly with that 83 speed and 82 Excel. And for the last card that we will be going over in today's budget video list, we got Dante Jackson. 76 man coverage, 85 jumping, 82 speed, 82 Excel with an 83 agility. This card always plays good. He always has them slow budgeted uh, cornerback cards. It just plays amazing, better than what the stats say. So obviously we had to we had to add him on this list, even if it is number ten. 
Hard over height. Granted, he is 5'10", 180 pounds, so not the biggest guy out there on the field. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is the top 10 budget cars that I do believe that you should add to your ultimate team. Let me know down below if you think I missed anybody, or let me know down below if you picked up any of these cars that I did portray in this video. As always, I love you all tremendously, and don't forget to hit that like button before you head out, and also hit that subscribe button. We are on that grind to 2,000 subscribers. And until next time, my brothers and sisters, I'm out.